Mr. Alexander Bennett, a man of refined tastes and quiet contemplation, harbored a profound affection for trains that bordered on reverence. From the moment he first laid eyes on the majestic locomotives as a wide-eyed boy of ten, he was enraptured by their power, their elegance, and their ability to whisk travelers away on journeys of adventure and discovery. Trains, with their towering engines, the rhythmic symphony of their wheels on the tracks, and the ever-changing landscapes that unfolded beyond their windows, held an irresistible allure for him, unlike any other mode of transportation. Yet, despite his love for trains, Mr. Bennett nursed a deep-seated fear of airplanes, their mechanical intricacies and lofty altitudes instilling in him a sense of unease and vulnerability. Likewise, buses, with their cramped quarters and unpredictable schedules, failed to elicit anything but disdain from him. Trains, on the other hand, embodied a sense of freedom, a promise of boundless horizons and endless possibilities that beckoned to him like a siren's call. And so, on the evening of the 14th of September, as the twilight descended upon the bustling city of Helsinki, Mr. Bennett found himself standing on the platform of the train station, a sense of anticipation coursing through his veins. He was embarking on a journey aboard the night train to ULU in Finland, a ten-hour odyssey that promised both solitude and adventure. I have my book and newspaper, he mused, a faint smile playing at the corners of his lips, and there's a fine restaurant on the train. Plus, I have two weeks of holiday with my Finnish friends in ULU. With a sense of quiet contentment, Mr. Bennett stepped aboard the train, the soft glow of the carriage lights casting a warm, inviting glow. As he settled into his seat by the window, he felt a wave of calm wash over him, the familiar rhythm of the train's gentle sway lulling him into a state of tranquil reverie. Throughout the night, as the train wound its way through the Finnish countryside, Mr. Bennett found himself lost in a world of his own making. The passing landscapes, bathed in the soft glow of the moonlight, danced before his eyes like scenes from a dream, each one more captivating than the last. At midnight, as the train made a brief stop at the quaint station of Ottawa, Mr. Bennett peered out into the darkness, the cool night air tingling against his skin. Yet, to his surprise, there was no one to be seen on the platform below, no sign of life amidst the stillness of the night. As the train pulled away from the station and resumed its journey into the heart of the Finnish wilderness, Mr. Bennett felt a sense of peace settle over him once more. But his tranquility was short-lived, for in the blink of an eye, the door to his carriage swung open, revealing two unexpected passengers, a young man and a young woman. Emily, the young woman, entered the carriage with an air of quiet desperation, her eyes filled with a sadness that tugged at Mr. Bennett's heartstrings. Beside her stood Lucas, her brother, a look of defiance etched upon his face. As the siblings settled into their seats across from him, Mr. Bennett couldn't help but eavesdrop on their conversation, the intensity of their emotions palpable even in the dim light of the carriage. Emily pleaded with Lucas to return her diamond necklace, a family heirloom of great sentimental value, but Lucas, driven by his own greed and desperation, refused to listen. 
The tension between the siblings continued to mount, each word spoken between them laden with unspoken regret and resentment. And then, in a sudden and shocking turn of events, Emily produced a knife from the folds of her dress, her hands trembling with a mixture of fear and determination. As Lucas's laughter turned to horror and disbelief, Mr. Bennett watched in stunned silence as Emily's desperate act unfolded before his eyes. Time seemed to stand still as the events of that fateful night played out in agonizing slow motion, each moment etched into his memory like a scene from a tragic opera. When the train finally arrived at its destination in ULU, Mr. Bennett stepped out onto the platform with a heavy heart, the weight of the night's events still lingering in the air around him. And though he knew that he could never erase the memory of what he had witnessed aboard the night train, he also knew that he would carry it with him always, a reminder of the fragile beauty and fleeting nature of life itself.